So it's time for another Gardening Week video and I'm still feeling a little bit uh, under the weather as a result of Covid. Um, I haven't got Covid anymore but I'm just feeling tired, working at about half my normal speed. Uh, still got a bit done, got quite a lot of stuff planted. I'll put it up down the side of the screen here so you can see the different things. And most of it's gone in well and established nicely because it's been fairly cool weather and a little bit drizzly. Not, not enough rain really to make a difference, but uh, just enough to help the uh, seedlings establish. The only issue I have had is that we have got quite a lot of cutworm in the ground and uh, I've got nothing to treat it with available at the moment. And so I'm losing a few plants, particularly losing some kales in the back garden. I'm not overly worried. I've got a few spares and I've got another succession coming, so I think I'll be fine, but uh, it's just annoying. You don't like to plant your little seedlings and then see them uh, cut off at the base. And um, yeah, I'd have to keep on kind of replacing them. I will go out though in the evening tonight, I think, and just kind of look around to see if I can see these dastardly cutworms coming to the surface. I mean, this is one of the problems with no dig because you don't kind of turn the soil uh, you don't bring these cutworms to the surface where the birds can eat them or you can just find them and squash them. So, uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a challenge. I did manage to get out hiking and as per usual, I went up to the Rivington Reservoir System. It's quite interesting to see the state of those reservoirs and just kind of watch them through the year because I generally go up there at least once a month. And um, yeah, they're pretty empty but they're not catastrophically low, I would say at the moment. So I think they're a little bit under where they would normally be. Um, of course, the big overflows are just not running at all. So, you know, the, the upper reservoirs, because there's a kind of cascading reservoir system. Uh, so the ones right at the top are pretty empty. They are empty enough that they're not draining to the lower level reservoirs. And even those lower level ones aren't really draining very much into the next level downs. Um, but uh, well hopefully we'll get a bit of rain next week I don't think it'll make much difference to the reservoirs but it will make a big difference to the garden and we also went so to uh, one of the nicest parks in our local area called Avenham Park in Preston and that runs uh, along the bank of the River Ribble and we live on the Ribble uh, estuary and so it's really nice to go and see the source and see that uh, that river flowing quite strongly still so um, that was a really nice fun day anyway back to the gardening came down to the polytunnel on thursday i think it is and somebody had mentioned in the comments that they'd got red spider mite and it was making uh, uh, devastating basically their cucumbers um, and i was kind of bla quite blasé in the comments you know oh well i have nice uh, try and keep my polytunnel nice and cool uh, by having the doors open at both ends and so I don't really have any problems with red spider mite. Well I arrived in the polytunnel of course I had red spider mite. Uh, so I took all the affected leaves off, at least the worst affected leaves, the ones where I could see any sign. Um, and now we've had some nice cool weather uh, and as I understand it red spider mite likes it really hot um, and it's been cool and pretty humid and so it doesn't seem to have progressed at all from when I took those leaves off. Uh, and the plants are still throwing out a lot of cucumbers. Now we have harvested about 500 cucumbers at this point. So to be honest, if we actually didn't harvest another cucumber, I wouldn't be too sad about it because I'm pretty fed up with eating cucumbers at this point. And I'm mainly eating them because I'm growing them. But dairy is also processing a lot for the off season. But uh, for now, it looks like uh, we've got a few more weeks at least uh, and if we don't get hot weather again maybe we've got a little bit longer than that and while i was inspecting the cucumbers i also noticed that uh, I've got quite a lot of little holes in the leaves and uh, when i turned the leaves over i saw these little caterpillars so i think next kind of sunny day we have i'll spray with bt and see if we can get those under control we're still picking loads and loads of cucumbers I'll just show you one of them actually because I've just picked the ones from today and uh, we do a daily harvest of cucumbers so uh, you can see the sorts of volumes. So I'm picking a lot of tomatoes at the moment and unusually for me 
I actually seem to have overwatered them because they're a bit tasteless. Uh, the ones in the hanging baskets uh, are looking great. I mean, that, to be honest, I thought I'd have thrown these hanging basket ones out uh, a few weeks ago, but they just seem to be churning out more and more tomatoes, so I'm just leaving them. But it's hard to keep the hanging basket ones, you know, really well watered. Certainly, it's hard to get them overwatered. And uh, so they are still really, really tasty, but the ones in the main beds have been a bit overwatered and it's hard to get the watering levels right uh, but i suppose now as we're kind of coming into august we tend to not have such sunny weather here it tends to be quite rainy uh, and cloudy and so i just need to make sure that i moderate the watering levels and then hopefully these uh, tomatoes will be a little bit tastier but the truss sizes this year have been amazing i'll just show you a couple of the trusses um, I don't think I've ever had trusses of that size on the polytonal tomatoes, so um, at least that's good. Anyway, mainly the ones I'm picking right now we're using in passatas because it doesn't matter quite so much uh, how tasty they are. And we've got loads of outdoor tomatoes almost ready, and they're always the tastiest, I think. I think there's something about them being outdoors. They just get the full spectrum of sunlight, and uh, as a result of that, they, uh, they taste amazing. So finally, I think um, uh, all the seedlings I sowed last week are all germinated now, pretty much. And I've moved them inside because we've got some pretty heavy rain forecast for um, Sunday night, I think, and Monday through Tuesday. About 15 to 20 millimetres or something like that, which is a little bit more than my... Um, seedlings can cope with outside so uh, they're all inside at the moment and they're looking pretty good and they really need pricking out but I've just got to get around to doing that and so I think that's it we've just got to do the harvest now so here's this week's table we have harvested a little bit midweek but not too much this is exactly what we're aiming for in summer in fact every week of the year just one full table full and we'll start up here We've got some New Zealand spinach, cooking carrots. These are amazing. These are Mercurio, great carrot for spring and summer. Just a little tiny bit of slug damage probably on a couple of them, but not anything to worry about. Golden beetroot, red beetroot, uh, new potatoes, although those are actually a main crop potato that I accidentally got mixed up and ended up planting as new potatoes. Uh, mixed brassica boxes, looking absolutely gorgeous. And more mixed brassica boxes. Uh, peppers, oh, these are all the sweet peppers. Salad onions, these are all cucumbers. Still <laughs> churning out the cucumbers. We've done over 500 cucumbers so far this year. It's got to be the most successful year yet. I'll do a video talking about how I manage that. Uh, mixed French beans. Oh, uh, more New Zealand spinach. Tomatoes, courgettes. Uh, little carrots for salads. These are a variety short and sweet. And hopefully they're short and sweet. When I tasted them a couple of weeks ago, they were still a bit soapy, like all new carrots are. But hopefully, they're kind of past the soapy stage now. And all of the salad bases. So I've still got to make up, obviously, these salads. I'll do that in a minute. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. It's a good harvest. So I hope you like this quick video. My name's Steve. This is the Seaside Kitchen Garden and Allotment Channel. And I'll see you soon.